1.5 megapixel configuration for the lock and hold scanner has the capability of doing RGB color acquisition during the lock process. Here we have a lock uh, scan done. This is the point cloud using that RGB capability. Now we filled in some of the pixels around the nose area. Let me uh, turn on triangulation. Uh, this is a single patch scan, so we had some occlusion or shadowing around the nose. And we also filled in the nose holes that weren't visible. And the dark part of the eyes uh, was not captured because of the low intensity. If we go back to the point cloud, you can see the uh, density that we have on uh, this type of image. And let's uh, look at the surface now. What we'll do is we'll uh, use a metallic surface. Uh, we minimize the banding in two ways here. Uh, one way we minimize the banding and we're able to extract the, the, the crow's feet, uh, wrinkles on the forehead and in the skin in different places. Also, uh, we acquisition the, uh, the beard and, and mustache. Uh, to a certain degree. But the way uh, we avoided the banding was simply to support the head from behind uh, with an object, a stationary object. Uh, head support is major during a, a lock uh, acquisition uh, in, in terms of the banding. If it moves, it will band. Uh, the other uh, way we uh, reduced the banding was to uh, increase the highest frequency number of patterns to 32. Uh, in this particular machine, that, that didn't take very long, only a couple extra seconds. Uh, another uh, way we increased the signal to noise ratio is we extended the position of the camera to its maximum uh, angle. So this is how we acquisition uh, the uh, lock scan most effectively.